So the events for World's Strongest Man have been announced. And if you want to try them, we're going to go through the exercises now and see which ones you can modify so you can do in your own gym. So the loading race is a really simple event. We're going to be moving various objects. Now, we don't actually know what objects we're going to be lifting at Worlds yet, but you can have a selection. I think sandbags are a really good option for, for loading, especially in gyms. You drop them, they don't damage the floor, they're easier to pick up. So if you've got some sandbags, definitely go with that. A variety of different weights. You're going to pick the bag up, run it down the course, and either load it onto something like a, uh, a high bench or a jerk block, or just dump it on the floor, run back, grab the next one. Maybe select kind of four or five different implements, four or five bags, and do them as fast as you can. So the loading race is massively focused on speed. So make sure you're not trying to lift the heaviest bag in there, you're looking to do it as fast as possible. The loading race is a great kind of finishing exercise. It kind of tests your cardio, it tests your, your strength and your speed. So maybe bolt it onto the back end of one of the sessions. So event two of the heaves is actually going to be the deadlift machine, or is in past it's been the kegs falling into the deadlift machine. But you can do the same thing with just a barbell and plate. Now usually we go rising bar, so we pull one rep and they put another weight in, and we keep going up, usually for seven reps. So you can do the same thing, lift one weight, put some plates on the side, lift again, put some plates on the side, so you do it ladder style. It's a good little exercise, you might have seen me do it at Brin Strongest Man recently, and that's exactly how I train for it. I'd pull my deadlift, I'd put some plates on, I'd pull again, and just keep going up the weight. Once again, this one's going to be for time, not necessarily for max weight. So select some weights that you're more comfortable doing. Obviously the final rep should be well within your, your personal best uh, and just work up and have some fun with it. It's not really an exercise you'll be doing a lot of sets with. It's probably gonna be that all out one set to finish. So this year at Worlds, we've actually got the long ladder. So we've seen it previously in 2020 in the final, but now it's moving into the heats. We'll be going from 120 kilos, probably up to 180 kilos over five different logs. You can do the same thing at home if you've got a strongman log. You can lift it, put it back down, put some plates on. Same as we just did with the deadlift ladder, do the same with the, the log ladder. It's a very simple movement. And once again, we're looking for speed here. You'd have to wait and get that down command to make sure you lift it away to the top, hold it, then bring it back under control. So with the log ladder, you want to make sure you're fast in between the logs. So it's no good lifting faster than walking really slowly between the two and taking a lot of time. So make sure you get your setup right each time. You don't waste any time. Grip straight onto the log, get your feet set and then lift straight away. Whether you're doing a clean and press, a one motion, it doesn't matter, as long as the log gets from A to B. So we're moving into day two of the heats, so the next up's Conan's wheel. So it's a pretty specialist exercise. You see some of the guys training on a properly fabricated Conan's wheel, but you see a lot of other guys training just with a yoke carry. So you can set your yoke up into a zercher position. You can even just use a barbell if you want, but I think a yoke works best. And then you're gonna carry it as far as you can. At Worlds, we're expecting it to be around 300 kilos in the hands to scale it back to whatever you want to be able to carry. But once again, this is not a max weight event. This is for a max distance. So you try and carry that yoke as far as you can. And then next week, try and beat it. It's just simple as that. You don't necessarily need to load the yoke up super heavy. It's a more about speed, control of that yoke, and make sure your hips are staying underneath the yoke. You're not flying out all over the place and falling over. So in five is the kettlebell toss. So we're going to have, I think, about eight kettlebells, ranging from 20 kilos up to just over 30 kilos over a four and a half meter barrier. Now, this is a little bit dangerous. You don't want to be going into the gym and chucking around metal kettlebells. So you'll definitely get kicked out for that. But a good option would be to actually use med balls, especially the slam balls, which kind of land on the floor. They don't do any real damage. If you can even take them outside as well, away from uh, other members of the public, get yourself a nice bit of space and just practice throwing it as high as you can. If you've got a nice series of med balls as well, then you can go from light to heavy. But the secret here is to be as fast as, as explosive as possible. We're looking to throw the med ball nice and high. So make sure we get a nice swing between our legs, exploding up, and make sure that release point is pointing straight up to the sky. You don't want to be hooking it behind you. Your hands should be finishing pointing straight up. So the final event of the heats is going to be the stone off again. Obviously, my favorite. But we've had some success in the past, and obviously last year it didn't really work for me. But the big thing with a stone off is just conditioning, conditioning, conditioning. So if you do have access to an outer stone, great. If not, you can do the same thing with a sandbag. The great thing about a sandbag, once again, is it doesn't damage the floor. You don't have to use a load of tacky. A little bit of chalk on your hands and you're ready to go. If I was training, I'd be putting the yoke at a height around about chest height, maybe a little bit below, and just practice getting that bag over. You can run around or you can work with a partner as well and test each other out and just keep going until you can't do any reps anymore. So in the stone off, we actually have 20 or 30 seconds to get the stone back over so maybe time yourself and challenge yourself that way don't just rest the whole time just keep working that bag it's also great for a bit of conditioning as well so hopefully that gives you a little bit of inspiration for your gym training the build up to world's strongest man 
Make sure you get involved, enjoy it, and see if you can take on us professionals and be a home gym warrior.